Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's June 30th, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Clerical sex abuse claims tripled in 2019. The U.S. Bishop said Thursday the church tallied 4,434 sex abuse allegations against clergy in the 2018 through 2019 audit year. Dioceses and other Catholic entities paid out a total of $282 million during the year for costs related to abuse allegations. Missouri Catholics continue to defend St. Louis. After Black Lives Matter protesters clashed with Catholics in St. Louis Saturday, defending the statue of King St. Louis IX, Sunday saw a more peaceful scene, with the largest gathering so far of Catholics praying the rosary and singing Marian hymns, led by several priests. The Archdiocese of St. Louis has also weighed in, saying, quote, St. Louis is an example of an imperfect man who strived to live a life modeled after the life of Jesus Christ. Catholics are blasting COVID-19 hypocrisy. While thousands gathered in Chicago over the weekend for a gay pride rally, churches and restaurants are being penalized for having more than a small number of people within their walls. Catholics are expressing frustration at the double standard, with hundreds of comments on social media over the weekend blasting the hypocrisy. The DOP is slamming Black Lives Matter's Marxism. Last week, the Republican Party uncovered footage from 2015 of Black Lives Matter's co-founder Patrice Cullors openly admitting the group's communism. I also think that we actually do have an ideological frame. We uh, are trained Marxists. Black Lives Matter is openly pro-LGBT and against the nuclear family. A suspect has been arrested for toppling a Ten Commandments statue in Montana. On Saturday, 30-year-old Anthony Weimer was taken into custody for allegedly wrapping a chain around the monument in front of the Kalispell Courthouse and then ripping it off its pedestal with his pickup truck. His motive for yanking down the statue remains unclear. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Marxist immunity. God bless you.